watching Numbskull News, and today we finally got a little bit of news about college realignment. Brett Yormark has come out and said that we could be just a matter of one or two weeks away from a new TV deal with ESPN and Fox. Other reports say it could be as much as $60 million per school. Now, I don't know about y'all, but it seems pretty damn fast. I mean, a couple weeks ago, just a couple weeks ago, we found out that uh, ESPN and Fox had called the Big 12 about entering early negotiations, and that's what they did. And all of a sudden, it's like we could have a deal done in the next couple of weeks. And at first, I was kind of freaking out a little bit because ESPN, you know, they, they kind of like to shortchange people. You know, they come in cheap. You know, ask the Pac-12, ask the ACC. That, that tends to be, you know, their MO. However... Uh, it's not exactly Fox's MO, and those two organizations are working together on a TV deal, but I think actually what it means is CES, ESPN and Fox, you know, they really got to get a deal done, <laughs> all right, because the Pac-12, they both have deals with the Pac-12, that deal is going to be up in 2024, and by then... You got the SEC and, and the Big Ten. Everything's going to be kind of situated to where it's supposed to be. They got to know where the rest of their content is coming from. And the Pac-12 is basically a no-go. Fox said, screw you, we don't want to do a deal with you. And ESPN lowballed the shit out of them. And now they're talking to Amazon. So ESPN and Fox are kind of in a little bit of a conundrum. So if you talk about leverage the Big 12 has, well, that's plenty of leverage. Hey, you need content. Uh, where are you going to go to get it? Because you can't lowball the Pac-12 because so many of those teams are going broke. <laughs> they got to have money. That's why UCLA was more than happy to leave because they're freaking bankrupt. They got to have money. They're in ass tons of debt. Cal is in ass tons of debt. And you can bet your ass there's several other schools that are in dire need of a big paycheck. Not to mention your two biggest programs in Oregon and Washington are trying to get the hell out of there. They are dying to go to the Big Ten. And I know everyone's talking about, hey, you know, uh, Commissioner Warren over there in the Big Ten, he, he's, he's really kind of slowed down the talk of adding more schools from the West Coast. Well, that doesn't mean much. All right. The Big Ten has escalator clauses, all right, to bring in more schools. I guarantee you they're going to bring in at least two Pac-12 schools, and I'm not talking three, five, seven years down the road. I'm talking within the next several months. But a deal getting done this fast with the Big 12 and Fox and ESPN, that tells me that Fox and ESPN are about to drop some major freaking bags of cash on the Big 12 because they got to get that. They got to get this thing done. I, I know the, the, the Big 12's TV deal isn't over until 2025, but they got to get that content going before then. They got to get things on lockdown. And I think how it's going to work is the Big 12, the new Big 12 TV deal is also going to have escalator clauses. Because ESPN still needs those West Coast time slots, those late night windows, and they need the Big 12 to take some more schools. You can't have, Baylor can't give you every freaking game every week in that late night window. You gotta, you gotta spread it out. So definitely look for that escalator clause to be in there. I believe it will be. After that happens, the Big 12 are going to be in a commanding place. Because let's just say for shits and giggles, okay? Amazon gets stupid. It basically offers the Pac-12 exactly what uh, the Big 12 is going to get from ESPN and Fox. Well, that's great and all, but what about exposure? <laughs> all right? Everybody watches ESPN and Fox. Nobody watches Amazon. Not right now they don't. I mean, eventually, all this crap is going to be streaming in some way, shape, or form. But right now, right now, the best exposure for schools and programs and players is not on freaking Amazon. It's on traditional TV networks. ESPN, Fox, CBS, NBC, that kind of shit. So a lot of these schools are going to say, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, being part of the Pac-12 has been cool. And yeah, we're going to make the same money, 
but we're definitely not going to get the same exposure. We want to play on ESPN, so hello, Big 12. And that's even if that happens, because good luck getting more than a three to five year deal with Oregon and Washington in there who don't want a long term deal in no way, shape, or form. So now let's talk about, you know, realistically, what can the what can the Big 12 expect? What can the fans of the Big 12 expect for their teams to get per year from a new deal? As I said before, there, there has been a report talking about $60 million per team, but that's with new revenue from an expanded football playoff. However, those negotiations are still going on. We don't know what the outcome of that is going to be. My contention is it's going to be somewhere between 50 and 60 million per team without any other extra money from college football playoff or anything else. Like that's going to be the deal. And then whenever the college football playoff deal comes around, that'll be tacked on to the top of it. Because I don't know any other reason the Big 12 would be doing that. I mean, they're definitely not going to take less than what they're getting now. No way in hell. You just hold off for another 16 months until the normal negotiation window comes up. And say, look, you want to do a big money deal with the Pac-12? Go ahead. Good luck. Good luck, ESPN. Because you don't know how long Oregon and Washington are going to be there. You don't know if they're willing to sign a grant of rights or not. They may be able, you know, in two years, they may want to say, hey, whenever the Big Big Ten comes calling, we want to be available right then. So... As I said, good freaking luck with all that. But to me, it it just makes sense. If you're going to get a deal done that quickly, it has to be because ESPN and Fox are willing to really open up the paycheck here because they're not going to do a deal with the Pac-12. So you got to have the content somewhere and boom, that provides, that's all the leverage the Big 12 needs. And I don't think it's Brett Yarmark or anyone else playing hardball with ESPN. I think it's ESPN and Fox saying, you know, look, here's a deal that's going to be really hard for you to say no to. It's way more money than you thought you would be able to get. And the reason we're doing that is because we don't have to pay a whole nother conference in the Pac-12, a whole nother freaking grant of rights deal. We can just deal with you. We can give you escalator clauses to get the teams that we want. It just makes so much freaking sense. But Mr. Yarmark, however, did say a possible deal. He didn't say no doubt because you got to take that to all the presidents, <laughs> all the schools, all the programs, make sure everyone's on board, which, you know, should take about a week or two. <laughs> so, you know, we'll know. But I, but it's like I've been saying, the Big 12 is going to get paid. They're in such a sweet spot, man. The, 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 the ratings are up. The four schools coming in, man, is generating a ton of excitement. This is going to be a hell of a football conference. One that's going to get be getting paid, and I mean paid more than the ACC. So, hey, no problem being the third wheel in college football realignment. No problem being the third biggest and best conference in college football. I got no issue with that. I know none of the Big 12 fans have an issue with that. We're damn excited to be that. Hell, last year we thought <laughs> we thought we were dead. And here we are, Phoenix rising out of the ashes. And we're just getting doused with money. That's what's going to happen. And elevated exposure. Because you're not competing with the, big, the Pac-12. Not on ESPN, you're not. Not on Fox, you're not. You know, we're being right, we're going to get a prime seat right there with the big boys and the SEC and the Big Ten. And if the Pac-12 miracles their ass somehow together, which I don't think, they're not going to do. But let's say they miracle it another three, four, five years. Well, where are they going to be? Amazon? Apple, Apple TV? Who watches that shit? Not, I mean, I'm sorry. You, you order a lot of shit from Amazon. How much Amazon do you actually watch? Not a ton. But that's all I got on that crap right now. I'll be back with another video eventually. Bye.